If you're working in a tight space, a ratcheting stubby screwdriver can save a lot of time. So the question is, is the new LTT ratcheting stubby screwdriver just as good or even better than the competition? Well, let's find out. In the first test, we'll see which ratcheting screwdriver has the best working arc swing. Then we'll see which screwdriver has the best and then the worst build quality. At a price of $12, is this Stanley brand? Three position switch for clockwise and counterclockwise ratcheting in lock position. Magnetic bit holder for secure storage of bits. The screwdriver comes with six different bits. It's a product of Taiwan and finished in China. All the bits are made in China. And the Stanley weighs 127.03 grams. Let's kick off our first test to see which ratcheting mechanism is the most efficient. Hand mobility varies a lot. So let's compare the performance within a 50 degree space. I'll attach an Allen wrench to the handle and we'll see how many back and forth passes it takes to complete a full circle. And the Stanley's gear set seems to have quite a bit of slop. And it takes 11.5 right to left passes to complete one full rotation within a 50 degree area. At a price of $13, is this Michael Pro? It claims to have a smooth ratcheting mechanism. It also claims to have an ergonomic handle design to provide greater comfort. Just like the Stanley, it includes a forward, reverse, and a lock position. The previous two brands come with six bits, the Michael Pro comes with seven. Storage space in the handle for six bits. The Michael Pro is made in Taiwan. And the Michael Pro weighs just over 105 grams. And the Michael Pro's gear set seems much more refined than the Stanley's. And the screwdriver performed very well for a budget tool at 9.9 .9 passes. At a price of $14, is this No Cry brand? The ratcheting the mechanism has a forward, reverse, and a lock position. The ratcheting mechanism has 10 teeth. The kit includes six double-ended screwdriver bits. The No Cry is made in Taiwan. 119.56 grams for the No Cry. And the No Cry is making about 33 degrees of progress within the work area with each pass. And the No Cry moves into second place behind the MicroPro at 10.8. At a price of $16, is this Sada brand? The screwdriver comes with six bits. It also claims to have a smooth ratcheting mechanism. The back cap stores all included bits magnetically inside the handle. Sada claims that their bits are made of high-grade tools steel designed to handle some torque. We're going to test that. The SADA is made in China. And the SADA weighs 103.11 grams. And the SADA is performing about the same as the No Cry at around 33 degrees of progress. And the SADA moves ahead of the No Cry into second place at 10.5 passes. At a price of $18 is this Klein Tools brand. It includes forward reverse and a lock position. It comes with six different bits. Cushion grip handle for maximum torque and comfort. The Klein Tools is made in Taiwan. And the Klein Tools weighs 143.13 grams. And the Klein Tools ratchet is extremely short for use in a tight space, but the ratcheting mechanism is not as efficient as some of the other brands. And it's 11.6 passes to complete a full rotation. At a price of $22, is this Milwaukee brand? It claims to be a high torque ratchet. The bits that it comes with are power tool ready. For bit storage, the Milwaukee uses a pass through handle design. The Milwaukee is made in Taiwan. 152.42 grams for the Milwaukee. And the Milwaukee is making around 37 degrees of progress with each pass. And the Milwaukee just moved into the lead over the Micro Pro at 9.8. At a price of $29, is this Stahlwheel brand? It's a 48 tooth ratcheting screwdriver. It claims to have a working arc swing of just 7.5 degrees. Unfortunately, the Stahlwheel does not include onboard bit storage. The Stahlwheel did not come with any bits. The stall wheel is made in Germany, and the stall wheel weighs 139.34 grams. And the stall wheel might have a great build quality, but the ratcheting mechanism isn't as efficient as some of the other brands. And it's 11.3 passes. At a price of $46, is this Wearer brand? Six standard size one inch bits can be stored inside the handle. The Wearer is made in Germany, and the Wearer weighs 138.44 grams. And the Wearer seems to be making about the same rate of progress as a stall wheel. And the Wearer performed very close to the same as the stall wheel at 11.5 passes. At a price of $60, is the Linus Tech Tip screwdriver. It even comes with a note from Linus himself. I always buy everything I test on the channel, including this product, which I paid the full retail price. The screwdriver comes with five bits and a magnet. The ratcheting mechanism includes forward, reverse, and lock. It includes a knurled shaft for those fine adjustments. The LTT weighs 122.09 grams. And the LTT's ratcheting mechanism seems to be performing just as well or even better than the Milwaukee. And the LTT just moved into the lead over the Milwaukee at 9.6. At a price of $68, is this Matco Tools brand? Matco Tools claims to be the strongest and most durable 40 tooth geared ratcheting mechanism. Unfortunately, the Matco screwdriver does not have onboard bit storage. Made in Taiwan. And the Matco is the heaviest yet at 188.71 grams. And the Matco Tools is definitely more efficient than most of the other brands at around 37 degrees of progress with each pass. And the Matco Tools moves into a two way tie for second place with the Milwaukee at 9.8. I wasn't able to find just the gear wrench stubby screwdriver for sale, but I was able to find the stubby screwdriver inside this. 40 piece kit for a price of $70. The kit includes both a T handle as well as a regular ratcheting stubby. Unfortunately, the gear wrench does not include onboard bit storage. The gear wrench kit is made in Taiwan. And the gear wrench weighs 170.15 grams. And the gear wrench is making around 33 degrees of progress with each pass. However, the gear wrench is a little bit less efficient than the top five brands at 10.9. At a price of $80, is this PB Swiss brand? The bits are stored in a six bit sliding magazine at the end of the handle. Comes with six different bits. Swiss Tools claims that their bits are made of premium steel. 
Stainless steel magnetic bit holder. The PB Swiss is made in Switzerland and it's 149.12 grams for the Swiss tools. And the PB Swiss seems to be as precise as a Swiss clock. And the PB Swiss is the most efficient yet at 8.6 right to left passes. Very impressive. At a price of $82, the most expensive brand we'll be testing is made by Snap-on. It has a thumbs up forward lock and reverse lever for directional control. Interchangeable knurled stainless steel shank. It claims to have a smooth durable ratcheting mechanism. It claims to have a high strength magnet for superior bit retention. Unfortunately, the Snap-on does not have onboard bit storage. And the Snap-on did include one bit. The Snap-on is made in USA. And the Snap-on weighs 170.31 grams. And the Snap-on is making over 40 degrees of progress with each pass and seems to be about as efficient as the PB Swiss. And the Snap-on almost matched the PB Swiss at 8.7 passes. Very impressive. When it comes to working arc swing, the PB Swiss came out on top at 8.6 right to left passes for a complete rotation within a 50 degree space. However, the Snap-on performed almost as well at 8.7. LTT finished in third at 9.6. When it comes to screwdriver length, some of the stubby screwdrivers just don't seem very stubby at over six inches of length. On the other hand, some might just be too short to gain a good grip. Most of the screwdrivers with a bit are between four and five inches in length. A rising screwdriver with a lot of back drag really makes removing and installing fasteners in a tight space a challenge at times. If there's enough space, adding resistance to the screwdriver shaft allows the ratchet to make progress, but that's not always an option. The shaft of each ratchet will rest on a metal platform to ensure that each tool is level and to prevent side loading of the shaft. I'll rotate the handle until I hear a click, indicating that the ratcheting mechanism has fully repositioned into the next gear tooth. And the Stanley has 52.88 grams of back drag, which is quite a bit. And the Micro Pro performed just a little bit better than the Stanley at 48.68 grams of back drag. And the No Cry struggled on the working arc swing test, but it performed well in this test at 18.28. And Asada moves into second place behind the No Cry at 39.08 grams. And the Klein Tools has the most back drag yet at 69.35 grams. And the Milwaukee is even stiffer than the Klein Tools at 89.98 grams of back drag. And the stall wheel performed well at 29.38 grams, which is good enough to move into second place behind the No Cry. And the Wearer performed about the same as the stall wheel at 34.89 grams. And the LTT moves into the lead over the No Cry at 9.89 grams. Very impressive. And the Matco Tools also performed very well in this test at 14.41, which is good enough to move into second place. And the Gear Wrench also takes a light touch to advance at only 18.1 grams of back drag. And the PB Swiss has an amazing working arc swing, but it's struggle in this test at 47.88 grams. And the Snap-on performed almost identical to the LTT at 9.98 grams. So the LTT has the lowest back drag at 9.89 grams, but the Snap-on finished in a very close second at 9.98. Matco Tools, Gear Wrench, and No Cry also performed well at under 20 grams. If you're breaking out the stubby screwdriver, there's a good chance that you'll want a strong magnet to hang on to the fastener. And the Stanley, Micro Pro, No Cry, Sada, Klein Tools, and Milwaukee weren't able to lift the screw. And a stall wheel made very easy work of the screw. I've embedded a screw into a piece of wood so we can see how much magnetic pull is made by the stall wheel. And a stall wheel did a great job at almost 68 grams of lift. And the wearer won't lift the screw, but it does offer about 1.59 grams of pull. And the LTT made very easy work of the screw. And the LTT offers the most magnetic lift yet at just over 90 grams. Very impressive. While we're at it, let's go ahead and test out the magnet. And the LTT magnet made it to just over 620 grams or about 1.4 pounds of lift. And the bit tip for the Matco tools and the gear wrench is not magnetized. And the PB Swiss made very easy work of lifting the screw. And the PB Swiss moves into the lead at almost 200 grams. Very impressive. And the snap-on lifted the screw off of the scale. And the snap-on also performed well at 38.49 grams, which is good enough for a fourth place finish behind the stall wheel. If you're looking for a screwdriver that won't drop screws, the PB Swiss came out on top at almost 200 grams of lift. LTT also performed well at just over 90 and stall wheel 67.99 grams. And a screwdriver with a great build quality will have very little side to side shaft movement and this really helps with work requiring precision. I'll measure the amount of movement using a dial indicator from two and a quarter inches from the front of the shaft. And the Stanley has quite a bit of slop at 0.064 inches. And the Micro Pro performed a little bit better than the Stanley at 0.0585. And the No Cry performed by far the best yet at only 0.025 inches. And the Sada has the most side-to-side -side movement yet at 0.067 inches. And the Klein Tools performed better than average at 0.0465. And the Milwaukee also performed better than average at 0.053. And the Star Wheel takes the lead from the No Cry at a very impressive 0.021 inches. And the Wearer has quite a bit more shaft movement than the Star Wheel at 0.0595. And the LTT remains straight as an arrow at 0.0085 inches. 
And the Matco tools perform better than average at 0.049 inches. And the gear inch performed just a little bit better than the Matco tools at 0.046. Just like the LTT, the PB Swiss performed a lot better than average at 0.023. And the Snap-on performed even better than the PB Swiss at 0.0185. So the LTT came in on top at 0.0085 inches, but the Snap-on also performed well at 0.0185. Start wheel PB Swiss and No Cry also performed very well. Have you ever lost a bit when working in a tight space? Let's compare the bit retention strength next. And the Stanley made it to 438 grams or just about one pound before letting go of the bit. For a budget screwdriver, the Micro Pro performed very well at almost 1,200 grams or about 2.6 pounds. And the No Cry let go at 922 grams to move into second place. And the Sada moves into the lead over the Micro Pro at 1,321 grams. And the Klein Tools is a little below average at 769 grams. And the Milwaukee performed almost as well as the Sada at 1,239. And a Stall Wheel let go of the bit at 853 grams. And the Wearer performed very close to the same as the Stall Wheel at 886. And the LTT moves into second place behind the Sada at 1,254 grams. And the Matco Tools also maintained a very good grip on the bit at 1,176 grams. And the gear wrench really struggled in this test at only 186 grams. And the PB Swiss has by far the strongest magnet for holding on to screws, and it also came out on top on this test at 2,310 grams. Very impressive. And the Snap-on performed almost the same as the LTT at 1,272 grams. And the screwdriver that has the best hold on bits is the PB Swiss at 2,310 grams. The Sada Snap-on LTT in Milwaukee also also performed very well at over 1,200 grams. Let's compare the amount of rotation in the lock position at 4 inches from the shaft. And the Stanley allows for quite a bit of rotation at 0.775 inches. And the Micro Pro performed a lot better than the Stanley at 0.357 inches. And the No Cry performed about the same as the Stanley at 0.701. And the Sada performed about the same as the Micro Pro at 0.401 inches. And the Klein Tools has more rotation than the Sada at 0.621. And the Milwaukee moves into the lead over the Micro Pro at 0.341. And the Star Wheel performed about the same as the Klein Tools at 0.641. Once again, the wear performed close to the same as the stall wheel at 0.655. And the LTT has more rotation than the stall wheel and the wear at 0.862 inches. And the Matco Tools has more rotation than the dial meter can measure at over one inch. Just like the Matco Tools, the gear wrench also has a lot of rotation at over an inch. And the PB Swiss moves into the lead over the Milwaukee at 0.34. And the Snap-on performed about the same as the Klein Tools at 0.606. With the shaft in the lock position, the PB Swiss and the Milwaukee had the least amount of shaft rotation at very close to 0.34 inches. The Micro Pro also performed very well at 0.357. Using the factory supplied screwdriver bits, let's test a failure load of the Phillips number 2 bits next. I'll be using a drill press with the wheel attached to the lever arms. With 20 pounds attached to the lever arms, there's about 140 pounds of downward force on the screwdriver handle, which should prevent cam out. I'll swap out the screw between testing each of the bits. And the Stanley bit broke at 92 inch pounds. A look under the microscope and a bit sheared without twisting the flutes. Once again, the Micro Pro performed a lot better than the Stanley with the bits breaking at 131 inch pounds. And a bit broke without twisting the flutes. And the No Cry does not come with the number two Phillips, but it does come with several posi drive bits. And a bit gave up very early at only 45 inch pounds. And a bit tip is pretty soft and it twisted quite a bit before breaking. And a Sada broke at 116 inch pounds to move into second place behind the Micro Pro. And a Sada bit does seem pretty brittle and it snapped without any twisting. And the Klein Tools performed almost as well as the Micro Pro at 127 inch pounds. Milwaukee claims that their bits are power tool ready and the Milwaukee broke at 124 inch pounds. And the Milwaukee experienced a clean break without twisting the flutes. And the wearer cam out at 113 inch pounds. The flutes on the bit twisted quite a bit. And the LTT moves into the lead at 140 inch pounds. And the bit broke without twisting the flutes. And the Matco Tools bit held on for a long time before the bit finally broke at 138 inch pounds. The flutes did twist quite a bit. And the gear wrench bit offers good strength, finally breaking at 128 inch pounds. The bit is extremely brittle and it broke into several pieces. And the PB Swiss moves into the lead over the LTT at 145 inch pounds. Very impressive. And the snapped on snapped at a very disappointing 50 inch pounds. I'm pretty confident it's a genuine Snap-on bit because it was shipped to me directly from the Snap-on store. Hopefully the Snap-on bits are a lot stronger than this one and it's just a bad bit. So PB Swiss came in on top at 145 inch pounds. LTT finished in second at 140 and Matco Tools 138. And all of the screwdrivers outlasted the bits. So the screwdrivers have more than enough strength. However, let's go ahead and apply enough torque to the screwdrivers until they fail, which will give us a good excuse to take them apart. And the Stanley's handle broke loose from the ratcheting mechanism at 342 inch pounds. And the Micro Pro has outperformed the Stanley throughout most of the testing, and it's outlasted the Stanley this time again at 371 inch pounds. Just like the Stanley, the Micro Pro's grip has also been destroyed. 
and the ratcheting mechanism on the No Cry gave up a 243 inch pounds. A look inside the ratchet, the main gear experienced quite a bit of damage, and it took a couple attempts to gain good enough grip on the SADA. The handle broke loose on the ratcheting mechanism at 360 inch pounds. Just like several of the other brands, the ratchet outlasted the handle on the Klein tools. The grip's been destroyed, but the Klein tools is still working just fine. And the Milwaukee ratcheting mechanism survived the torture test, but the handle did not. 313 inch pounds. And the Germans take tool building seriously, and the stall wheel is by far the most difficult ratchet to break yet. And the locking pliers tore away the rubber grip before they were able to gain a really good grip on the hard plastic handle. And the stall wheel finally broke at 582 inch pounds the most yet. Very impressive. The main gear held up, but there's some damage to the teeth on one of the paws. Just like the stall wheel, the wearer is built to handle some serious torque. And it's over for the wearer at 543 inch pounds. And the paw experienced quite a bit of damage, but the main gear is still in good shape. And the knurled shaft on the LTT broke at 193 inch pounds, which is a lot more torque than you'll probably need for a PC build. A little JB weld and this thing will be back in action. And the Matco Tools is also built to handle some serious torque. And 566 inch pounds is almost as much as a stall wheel. And the main gear really chewed up the paw. And the gear wrench also held up very well, making it to 475 inch pounds before the ratcheting mechanism let go. Both the main gear and the paw experienced a lot of damage. And the handle tore away from the ratcheting mechanism on the PB Swiss at 152 inch pounds. Definitely not a tool to designed for rugged use in mechanical applications. And the snap-on also withstood a lot of torque, but the shaft finally broke at 507 inch-pounds. And the ratcheting mechanism is still in good shape and works just fine. So which ratcheting screwdriver is best? I decided not to include the bit and screwdriver destruction test in the ranking since it really isn't a tool designed for rugged use. By the numbers, the PB Swiss had the best average finish of 2.8. In my opinion, the two most critical categories include working arc swing and back drag. Unfortunately, the PB Swiss has way too much back drag to work efficiently in many instances. Snap-on finished in second, and the Snap-on did a great job at the working arc swing test and the back drag. The biggest downside with the Snap-on is it only holds one bit in the tool since it doesn't offer bit storage inside the handle. And the LTT had an average finish of 3.7. It performed very well for working arc swing and back drag and has onboard bit storage. I really like it when a manufacturer allows me to test their products without any pressure, so a big thank you to the LTT team for selling me one of their screwdrivers before the public release and allowing me to do an accurate and honest review. So the big question is, is the LTT screwdriver the best? I think that really depends on what you're looking for. If you plan to use and abuse a screwdriver and apply a lot of torque and hit it with a hammer, Definitely not the LTT screwdriver, but then again, I don't think it was built for that type of use. I really think it's designed more for an ergonomic advantage over some of the competition. It has very good onboard bit storage as well as very good ergonomics. All the videos in this channel, including this one, are viewer suggested. So if you have a video idea, I hope you take time to leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching. Please take care and I look forward to next time.